Hi guys, it's Upscreamman, and this is the tutorial as promised uh, to how to um, get user and password protected applications. I'll be using my database script as the um, application. Right, now I assume you've watched the database uh, tutorial and my beginner's uh, app script tutorial. If not, you should watch them, they will be really useful for your uh, knowledge in app script. Now, I've um, pre-written the database script as you can see is there so I'll just copy and paste that after um, but we're going to start off with the uh, with the password protected uh, script right now this will I only do one user because um, it, it just takes time to do more and I haven't really got long so but this will still be informative all right so I assume you should know strings by now so we're going to set sam uh, pass to one, two, three, four. Okay, you can do it to whatever. All right. Um, we're gonna set x once again to text uh, returned. Um, of I'm gonna do brackets display dialog. Uh, enter your user name here. Um, the default answer will be default answer uh, will be e.g. John. Okay, just for argument's sake. And um, the button one of the buttons will have will be. Let me just see. Make sure you can see. Our buttons will be um, continue. Continue. Make sure. Uh, continue. Yeah. And the default button will be one. Obviously, default button one. Close brackets. Compile, and it's all correct, which is good. So we've got this. Okay. Um, let me just explain it. Uh, we're setting sound pass to one, two, three, four. And we're setting x to the text returned in the display dialog. I'll run it so you can see. Enter your username here. We'll write sum. Oh, this seems whatever. Um, it will work, okay? Right, so we're going to do a new line. And we're going to be using um, uh, ignoring case and ignoring white space again. Case and. And I assume, as I said earlier, that you've watched my database tutorial where I've explained what this is and yeah okay so we're going to be using if and else conditionals which I also explained in my beginners tutorial and my database tutorial um, this is basically going to say like going to ask this piece of software if if um the username entered was Sam then do something if it wasn't yeah um, then that's bad okay um, so basically, if x, remember we set the text return to x, yeah? Let me see there. If x, okay, equals, because it has to be the same to make sure it's not just some random user, okay? If x equals us, um, Sam, yeah? Because that's the password we want. If x equals Sam, then, now only if x is equal to Sam will this work. Set z to text oops to text return sorry te to text uh returns of open brackets display dialog um enter your password here we can make customizable sam um the default answer we'll have as um default answer will be um I'll just put some stars in to make it look professional. There you go. And um the buttons will be login. Login oops. Sorry, I missed out a open speech marks. And our default button will be default button will obviously be one. Okay, close brackets. 
Click compile. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't do end if. Um, basically, that's saying the end of the if statement, and we'll only be able to do that when we finish our um, if um, our sorry our yeah our um, condition. Now, so remember, I said only if x equals sum then it will set z to the text returned etc so basically now we're going to do um if z is equal because the password has to be exactly the same okay if z is equal to sam pass yeah then what will happen is it, we can have our database script let me just copy this okay and copied it we'll have our database with, uh, script so oops if okay if z I oh, said if twice sorry this uh, screen captures and stuff <laughs> if z is equal to sound pass okay then now we'll copy and paste our script okay so if z is equal to sound pass then you'll have access to the um to the uh, database script, okay. Um, now, basically, we're gonna do else if. Basically, that's saying if it else if it's not say you will not get in here. You will not get in here, hacker. Okay. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but yeah. So we're going to end our if and end our if because remember we did two ifs um, up at the top. So just. Uh, there you go. If. Oops, that's our database script. There you go. If and if. You can see. We have to end our ignoring. So two end our ignorings. End ignoring. End ignoring. Let me, let me just make sure I've have missed I missed anything up by clicking compile. Nope, nothing's missed out, so it should work. Should we try? Okay, so we click run. Enter your username here, Sam. Enter your password here. One, two, three, four. There you go. Now we have access to our database. Um, one of the members we could search Max Dog, and there we go, Max Dog. Uh, so the script works as I've shown to you, and I hope you liked it. Um. There'll be more tutorials coming, I promise. Um, and stay tuned. Yeah, if you if you want any um if you have any questions or you want any more tips or anything, just ask me and I'll happily reply.